What's up, y'all? This is Entendre, and today I'm going to be showing you a new technique using a drum rack and any synth, really, um, to create basically drum-driven bass or synth uh, sounds. So it's pretty simple, really, but it's uh, something I've just been experimenting with lately. You basically can have a drum rack or any uh, source which uh, we're just going to drop some drum samples in there so let's find a kick and snare that'll do and for snare we'll do that and we can go ahead and just build like a real basic pattern to start Slow this way down to like 80. All right, so now what we're going to do is add a synth over here. So let's see. We can use any synth really. For this example, let's just use. We'll use Reason Studios. So let's go ahead and just use like a grain and select a preset. And basically, now we're going to say MIDI from drum rack. And then I can say kick. So every time the kick hits, it's going to trigger this also. Then I have to set the MIDI to monitor in. So now if I play this, it just layers on top of the kick. We can't really hear it right now. But if I extend these kicks out, there you go. So now the kick drum is triggering that sound. And these could be any length, really. They could just go to the snare. And we could have the snare trigger another sound. So let's go ahead and add a different sound over here. We'll use Reason again. We'll use a Europa this time. And we can just open up any sound or go into the library and get more specific here. Just go ahead and grab like a melody sound and let's go ahead and take that also from the drum rack and we'll go to the snare drum so every time the snare hits that'll happen. Now if I play it now, we hear it because I have this record enabled and auto's on. If I turn record enable off we wouldn't hear it unless we have monitor in. So. So there we go. Now what we could do is uh, we can add some pitch modulation if we want to create some more melody. So we can go here to MIDI effects, drop a pitch modulation onto each of these, and then we can go here into automation view. And basically, uh, I can start drawing in different pitch variations. I can also expand this out to have more room to work with. 
So if I take a loop of this, let's go ahead and um, duplicate this part of the loop and then we'll add the variation We can also duplicate this um, by highlighting it and copying it and then pasting it up here on the base and so we can match the, the pitch progression. So let's see what that sounds like. Huh, yeah. Something like that. You can also raise this part up here. Now keep in mind it's linked to the kick, so if I make some variations here with the drums, we're going to hear those reflected with the, the bass and whatnot. So let's go ahead and add some stuff. And then I can add follow actions on these by turning on the section here, going to next, and then I just hit play. Why? 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 Why?
say. Yeah, that's really the technique. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there's different ways of doing it though. So the idea is you're modifying the trigger and the, the pitch independently. The drums are triggering the instrument, the, the gate, but the, uh, the pitch can be controlled using these, these pitch effects, or you can even inside the Reason plugin uh, use other devices to modulate the pitch of whatever synth you have in there. So yeah, that's pretty well covering the idea of uh, these drum-driven synth and bass lines. So hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, I'm Antandra. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you.